Alibaba reported Q1 2024 disappointing revenue. Price instead of heading down, in fact that it actually moved sideways and today in Hong Kong's trading session, price moves up above the price level of the disappointing revenue. So what does this mean for Alibaba? Let's talk about Alibaba right now. Let's talk about Alibaba Q1 2024 revenue growth. Alibaba reported 4% revenue growth, but analysts was expecting 6%. So this was the disappointment. So during the Hong Kong trading session, price moved down, but when it was reported and then the US trading session, price actually went flat. Okay, so there wasn't much reaction of the so-called disappointing revenue growth. Now this is because that the company also achieved a high single digit growth. And at the same time, the customer management revenue grew by 1% year on year. And then the sales from the cloud computing business actually increased by 6%. So it wasn't really that bad. All right. So during the next day, which comes to the Hong Kong trading session, Alibaba actually moved higher than the yesterday close. So I see this as a bullish note, right, from investors to Alibaba. Let's take a look at Alibaba stock chart. This is the daily chart I've joined in, which I think a very important region here. And the price is about $78 high and the low of $76.50 low. So this zone here, the one in grey, marks a zone of a previous support. So these are the support level, which in turn turns into a resistance level. And then we saw some reaction here, which is like in head and shoulder pattern. And then we saw a like a reaction again which is resisted and then price was resisted and finally today so let me just zoom in finally today priced closed above nicely above this region here so this is why i meant by earlier that price dropped because of a disappointing earnings all right so uh, markets have reacted to that uh, disappointing uh, revenue growth but today it's just totally erased that bearish mode and in fact that it closed higher and it closed higher than this zone which is a resistant zone very important zone that has been respected by the stock price of alibaba uh, for quite some time already since the last year february around 2023 so this zone here i see it as a very important zone and today all right based on the day close based on the week close that means based on the weekly close and after the earnings alibaba actually closed above that have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a light? Okay, so the other resistance that um, is being noted here, which I think is quite obvious for the Hong Kong listed stocks, right? It's about $86, which is the high price here. And as well as the next level being here, which is about $92.80, or, you know, to round up about $93. So these are the resistance area to take note of. And then, uh, of course, right now, Alibaba had already broken out of this resistance zone, and that's about $78. If you're looking at some short-term trading into Alibaba without the need to change in Hong Kong dollar, you might want to explore into daily leverage certificates, which is the DLCs. So I have here, which is the DLCs that's listed by UBS, and then under the underlying here, I can choose the BABA, which is Alibaba 9988. The leverage type would be daily long and daily short because my analysis is looking at Alibaba being a little bit more bullish. I would want to choose a daily long. By doing so, so these are the listed DLCs of Alibaba. If you were to choose the DLCs, for me, I will always look at those with this uh, red color symbol here. This means that these DLCs is more sensitive. All right, what do I mean by more sensitive, for example? If you see this one here, that means Alibaba needs to move like $254 for a movement of one tick. Whereas if you look at this one here, right, which is the one with a red symbol here, then Alibaba would need to move by 0.13. Okay, so that means that every time that Alibaba moved by 0 0.13, then there will be a one tick movement of these DLCs. So this particular DLCs will be more sensitive. Uh, again, that uh, if you take a look at the overall trend of BABA, it is still down. You know, just take note of the risk of trading on a bullish note when the overall trend is down. If you like this video, remember to hit the subscribe button so that you know that when I launch a new video, you're updated. And especially my videos are quite timely, meaning that I look at the market prices and I make the video and then the, you don't want to miss all this, right?